Hello friends, welcome to Agri Talk Show. Let's welcome our today's guest, one of the finest badminton player from India. Uh, she is welcome to the show. ये doubles खेलती है, ये doubles खेलते हैं और mixed doubles भी खेलती है और बहुत सारे ads वगैरह भी इनको मैंने TV में देखा हुआ है तो मैंने सोचा कि आज इनके बारे में जान लेते हैं इनके बारे में और जानने के लिए Wikipedia में go through कीजिएगा इनके बारे में बहुत कुछ लिखा हुआ है तो आज इन्हीं के मुंह से सुनते हैं कि ये मतलब किस लेवल के प्लेयर है और इनके जो जर्नी है उसके बारे में भी हम जानेंगे मैम वेलकम टू द शो थैंक यू सर मैम बिफोर स्टार्टिंग कैन यू प्लीज शेयर योर बैडमिंटन जर्नी फ्रॉम वेयर इट इज स्टार्टेड श्योर सो आई स्टार्टेड प्लेइंग बैडमिंटन फ्रॉम द एज ऑफ सेवन और एट आई टू प्ले फॉर फन इन क्लब वेरी क्लोज टू एज एन एक्स्ट्रा after school activity because my parents wanted that energy to go somewhere after school so my mother enrolled me to play badminton in a club very close by then by the time i was around uh, 10 or 11 i decided that this is what i want to do so with badminton i was also a state swimmer i was uh, swimming for karnataka state until i was 11 but uh, my uh, swimming coach and my badminton coach decided that i need to choose only one sport can i do two things at one time that to seriously as a profession and as a career cannot do so i let my two coaches sit down and discuss whatever they choose i was okay with that decision so i so they said that badminton would be a better fit for me so i chose to play badminton So that's how my journey started. So by the time I was ten or eleven, I was already in state team. I was playing South Zone. I was playing under ten, under thirteen. So yeah. So in badminton, there are so many drills has been conducted in modern day training. So what is the yeah. what is the main focus? Means the coaches nowadays because our opponents are very strong, like. Koreans are also strong. Chinese uh, people are also coming out there. So, is there any yes. methodology changes in the coaching? So, I feel coaching is changing actually every month because uh, we have to be up to date. Because uh, every I feel every tournament standard of players are different and the kind of uh, preparation they have is different. But we as a country, I feel like we are suddenly open to change. you know because all these years uh, none of our coaches really wanted big change in the way our training system was but for the last 2 3 years i've been seeing so much change like every 2 3 months there's a new way of training there's a new way of our skill work there's a new way that we prepare for tournament so that even you know our country is not lagging behind so that's why if you see in this last one or two last especially last 2 3 years we have so many great results at such big tournaments especially is because we are like we are constantly adapting to however every country changes and we are also building like our own structure uh, how do you prepare yourself before any tournament so for me uh, i i mean i like to work on my skills first like whatever my strengths are Okay. So before the tournament I focus a lot on whatever my strengths are so that I know that even if I'm having a bad day at that match that these are the certain shots that I trust blindly that will work. So uh, before a tournament my main prep is that I I work on that and I like so if it comes to badminton that's what I like to do but post training I like to like just unwind spend some time with my family play with my niece so that it's not like from morning till evening i'm only not thinking about training so i either like to play with my niece post badminton or i just like to like then i i enjoy swimming so i still go and swim sometimes in the evening yeah that's the best way to relieve your stress yes uh ma'am uh, you play doubles and the mixed doubles yes. also so in doubles the coordination is the main factor and trust is also the main factor so 
true what is the what is the methodology to get sync with your partner so for me i work very differently to be honest so for me i like my doubles partner and i to be friends first yes so i feel if uh, you are not friends it's very difficult you can play but it's still difficult like if there's no basic I, i'm not saying you have to be best friends but at least they can be like a some basic cordial friendship and trust like it's just like i think playing doubles is like any other relationship you need that trust to build whatever it is that you are trying to build together so trust for me trust and friendship matters like i need basic trust basic friendship and then automatically everything goes very smooth and bo- and also both of us need to have the same goal like we need to have the same goal consistently exactly. like the vision should be the same yes. otherwise like i can't dream to play olympics and my partner can't dream to play commonwealth games like it's very two different ways to plan our schedules and play great so uh, who is your double partner my doubles partner currently is megana jakampudi okay so uh, during this uh, journey uh, the i mean to say the workout which you spent on the daily basis how much time do you spend in the gym or in the court so how i we train is we spend first half of the day on badminton like so my day starts at around 5 in the morning okay. yeah so i wake up around 4 4:15 i play badminton from 5:30 till about 7 then i get some rest till about 9:30 10 then i play again at 10 to 11 a short session 10 to 11 11:30 then i play then uh, evening from 4 to 6 o'clock gym so the gym includes like our running our speed footwork our lifting weights our endurance all of that until that who is your toughest opponent till date i find playing korean toughest yeah for me personally korea is very tough korea japan oh. japan i feel because you need lots of patience because yes. uh, those girls are like machine they don't get tired only like or their heart rate doesn't go high only i feel like i feel like their heart rate is perpetually like how we are sitting and talking peaceful like this So it's very irritating, you know. Like however hard you try, you feel like those girls don't get little tired also. But with Korea, on the other hand, they play really fast and they're very strong. Like they're very, very, very strong. So you feel sometimes like that shuttle is really like shuttle comes like bullet speed when you play with the girls from Korea. So I find personally, for me, Korea and Japan is tough. What are your favorite shots? Ah, so my favorite shot is my smash. But I feel like I have a good smash. I have a good smash, and I have a really nice trick shot from my backhand side. So these two are like my favorite shots. So it takes a lot of energy because on daily basis you used to burn out your calories. So what are your yes. diet plans and nutrition?s So I I have a team. So I have my own like physio. I have my own masseur. I have my own nutritionist. and all of that so uh, all my uh, and my trainer so my training is taken care of my nutrition my nutritionist takes care of the food and my recovery and <coughs> how much of what i need to eat and luckily i have parents who are very involved in my career so my mother also is like very involved in my career and helps me a lot actually to like my, so my mother cooks all my meals make sure that my meals are like on time I'm fed on time. I'm sleeping on time. So yeah, so that way, like my entire team is set up where everything is happening. Okay. So what are your future plans? Oh, good question. <laughs> so as of now, uh, I don't know. COVID has put up a lot of issues. Actually, a lot of setbacks in our career. But uh, right now, I've taken this month break because I haven't taken a break in. very very long 
just to figure out what it is that i want to do for the next one or two years where it is that i want to specialize in because uh, as of now i feel like i want to focus some more on mixed doubles because whatever i wanted to achieve in women doubles i have achieved i've been i've been top 30 for two and a half years so now i feel like i want to focus some more on mixed doubles so that is the plan so let's see but right now my main focus is to just enjoy my break and spend some time with my family ma'am it was nice talking to you so before leaving do you want to send any message to our audience I feel if you all enjoy playing badminton go ahead and play it's a really fun sport please enjoy and play whatever sport you choose you can do it. I'm not saying only play badminton but enjoy whatever it is because I feel especially after covid life is so short like so please have fun enjoy whatever it is that you're training play whatever but just have fun that's all thank you ma'am wish you all the best for your future endeavors thank you all assignments तो दोस्तों आज का कंटेंट मैं यही खत्म करूंगा आपने देखा होगा इन्होंने बहुत कुछ बताया है और इनके बारे में जानने के लिए मैंने पहले भी बताया था कि विकीपीडिया में जाके आप देख सकते हैं पढ़ सकते हैं तो आज का कंटेंट मैं यही खत्म करना चाहूंगा और आगे आने वाले समय में ऐसे ही इंस्पिरेशनल कंटेंट में लेके आऊंगा पूर्वीशा डॉट कॉम ओके सो गाइज गाइज तो इन्होंने बताया कि पूर्वीशा डॉट कॉम में जाके भी आप देख सकते हैं इनके बारे में जान सकते हैं तो जाने से पहले मैं कहूंगा कि प्लीज लाइक शेयर कमेंट और सब्सक्राइब जरूर कर दीजिएगा और आने वाले समय में ऐसे ही कंटेंट्स में लेके आऊंगा टिल देन स्टेट यूम फॉर द अपकमिंग वीडियोस